Hello, everybody, and welcome back to I Have No Idea What I'm Doing. And today, we are going to be having no idea what we're doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm very, very noobish when it comes to franchise mode. I used to know what was going on, you know, back in, like, the five-star sort of day where there was, like, green stars, yellow stars, red stars, and stuff like that. But now, I'm a lost cause, so I need to... Uh, Try to catch up. And honestly, our head coach, I saw about maybe hiring a better coach. He seems pretty solid. I mean, he's... Oh, wrong guy. There you go. He's only a 61% fit, but he's an A-. And on top of that, he is literally the only NHL head coach. There's no other coaches here. So, yeah, that's fun. And if we go to scouts, everyone here seems not very good. So, on that note... I think we're going to leave our coach for now. Our scouts seem all right. Actually, do we have any scouts that are... Oh, oh my goodness, an E! You gotta go, sir. AHL Atlantic. Wait, what's Re? Region efficiency. Oh, but he's very, very good at um, the AHL... Wait, what? I don't know. You guys are going to have to explain that to me. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go back. Leave our coach for now. Maybe, just maybe, I oh, should have learned my lesson in... The, um, whole... Did I turn injuries off? Let's have a ch uh, check. Let's have a check. Let's have a look. And, oh, I did. Perfect. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, in the drafts, normally, I don't edit the lines. Well, normally I do, actually, but I shouldn't, is what I meant to say, because every time that I do end up editing the lines, we do awful, even though the chemistry is significantly better. Um, wasn't Adden Hill on San Jose? Isn't he on San Jose? I don't know. We're gonna reject that, though. And stop, yo, stop sending me trades, all right? I will be the one sending trades around here. Leave me alone. Okay, we are going to, I guess, try to make the lines a little bit better. All right, multiple changes. Okay, and let's edit the lines. See if we can get any kind of chemistry going here. Because right now, okay, I do enjoy that. Don't really want Dubois on the second line, however. Is, okay, Thomas can be a right winger. So what if I... Okay, that's a no-go. Thomas, get back there. If I move Palmieri, no. We are just a very... Not... <laughs> Chemistry-happy team. I, 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 you know what? It's not in the... It's not in the red. So we have that to be happy for, at least. But it is also not in the green. Defense... I mean, yeah, 101, that's not bad. And I could actually move Taves up and get 110, but then Ekholm will be on the final pair. And I don't know, but Ekholm is 31, Taves is 27. I'm pretty sure you sort of plateau. Well, I don't know if that's the right word, but you kind of stop growing once you get to 27. So he's he's kind of, you know, there, but I think I'm fine with that. Let's go 110 instead of 101 because the third pair can be a zero. I think that should be fine. And then in net, we've got Mrazic and Vladar is... How old is Vladar? He is 24. And then if we go to the AHL, we have Adam Hill, who is 25 and 81. And then we have DiPietro. So maybe I will actually trade Adam Hill. I mean, uh, I don't know if I really want to do that, but I kind of do. You know what I'm saying? And I also... Let's have a look at our NHL team. Yeah, we have some pieces I could get rid of. Because I wouldn't mind playing Frederick and Reeves in the NHL. But I won't do that for now. I am, however, going to sign some AHL players so that our team can actually do well. Not that we really have a whole lot of talent to grow down there right now. Where is free agents? There it is. Let's do this. So yeah, just a bunch of players looking for... Two is there a way to sort by that? I feel like there is. Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. I never knew that was a thing. And someone pointed that out to me. I think I did a um, franchise mode. I don't remember when the last one was actually, but... Yeah, we're here now. I'm going to try to sign him. Yeah, there you go. Sure. And we have $18 million of cap space. Not that it really matters for this instance, but I didn't know we had that much. That's good news. All right. Prosser. Yeah, sure. I'll take some defensemen as well. Offer you a contract. And I'll give you two years. 900. There you go. Uh, Mulgan. Pretty sure you got traded to the Leafs at some point, And everyone... Thought he was Malkin, but he's not, I assure you. Okay. And Bork. Offer a contract. It's loading up. We definitely don't need goalies. That is for sure. Um, I Like I said, I think if anyone on the team 
will be traded from the goalie department, it's going to be Vladar. So, um, oh wait, no, sorry, not Vladar. I'm forgetting his name. Adden Hill. There we go. That was my bad. Yeah, wrong one. Sorry about that, uh, Vladar, but <laughs> you're not going anywhere. I was a little scared, but, you know, it wasn't meant to be said. All right, so let's get you 900. Sure. And, yeah, Wilson, sure. I'll offer you a deal as well. Hopefully these guys say yes. Imagine I just get a bunch of no's. I'm going to be so upset. You can come to the team as well. Uh, yeah, usually when they want 925, I feel like they end up saying no. So I'll give you that. And let's sign Dodson. He's probably going to take 8 million penalties, but I'm going to get him anyway. And there you go. 925. Perfect. I don't know if that's enough players or not. I really don't, but... We're going to hope for the best. So, yeah, let's uh, advance a few days, I guess. Um, oh, our first our first game. You know what? First game in franchise history. We need to simulate this one, and we need to get in there and see what happens. Our AHL team is probably going to get obliterated because they are not very good right now. But let's see how the first ever game in Houston Hammerheads. That's a good start. The guy that I moved down to the third pair. Love that for you, Ekholm, on Eric Com Comrie. Is this like the, is this still the preseason? I swear I sim past the preseason. Why is Hellebuck not in that? Oh, well. Okay. Well, that's a good start nonetheless. They have 11 shots right now. Goalie's doing good. Let's go. And let's continue to simulate here. We are definitely being outshot. Nice. We're kind of catching up. Give them a power play. Killed it. Now we have our own. Oh, my goodness. They scored right after it. Peter Mrazek got sniped on. There we go, Zach Sanford. Gets it right back, though. Houston back in the lead. Houston, we have a problem. I've, I've already planned, like, I don't know what video, but that has to be the title of one of the videos. It can't not be. That'd be a big-time missed opportunity. They almost have 30 shots. Oh, my word. Rozovich, you beauty. Let's go. Oh, no. Veselainen got one. They're within one again. Oh, no. They tied it. Veselainen tied it up. That's not good. That is not good. Come on, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. No. They have 39 shots. We only have 25. And we're going to go to overtime in our first game, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, here we go. Come on. Someone be the OT hero. Yes! Let's go, Klingberg. You legend. Love to see it. A big 4-3 to three win in our first NHL showing. There's the three stars. Okay. Um, we're not going to do that for all the games, of course, until we get to the lofts. But, yeah, you know, for now we can... Just simulate uh, maybe like a month or so and see how the team is doing. Um, and you guys, I, I showed you the coaches. Hopefully you can give me some advice there. And you know what else I'm going to do is I am going to show you all of our contracts. And you guys can decide who we should be getting rid of. So let's continue here and center. So, oh, we actually don't have a lot of centers. All right. Where's, I guess he was technically a right winger as well. So maybe under the right wing category, but nonetheless, there's left wingers, and this is only on the Houston Hammerheads. I want in the system as well, I think, so yeah, I'll show you everyone on our team first, and then I'll show you in the system. Um, you guys can look at the contracts there as well. Klingberg, oh my word, he's going to want a lot. 4-2-5, and he, ah, 5.8, that's not that bad. I thought it was going to be much worse. You know what? I'm just going to offer him an extension now. Let's try to get him while we can. Um, yeah, I could probably undercut him more, but that's okay. I do want him back for sure. And yeah, scroll down here. That's all the defensemen we have. And then in net, we've got Mrazic and Vladar. And then if we go to the AHL, I guess, can I not do that from here? Or is this in the system as well? No, it can't be. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I see it in the system. Aha. Got it. So let's uh, go to goalies. We've got Adden Hill and DiPietro. I'd ideally like DiPietro to be the starter in the AHL, which is why I kind of want to get rid of Adden Hill and sort of bet on Vladar, but that's up to you guys. You guys be the judge on that one. Uh, defense, not a whole lot going on down there. Right wingers, okay. Yo, Burray, I haven't even signed you yet, and I'm not going to, actually. Should I sign Boss? He's 71 overall. How He's 18. I think he can play in the AHL. Eh, uh, can he? I think he can. All right, well, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I think I saw a comment saying to sign him, so there we go. And he signed. Hopefully, 
We can play him in the AHL. Otherwise, whoopsie daisies. Centers, this is what we got. And yeah, so honestly, we don't really have a whole lot we should really consider trading. I thought we'd have more than that. So I think we do need to get rid of a goalie. That is for sure. Um, at least it, it's, it doesn't seem like a good idea to hold on to all of them. I think we should get rid of one of them. Maybe for a draft pick even. Because I don't think we really need players or that we will get a good player with them. I think it'd be better for the draft pool. But I will let you guys weigh in on that. Yoki Haru as well. So, yeah, we have a lot of players in the NHL. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is Hag in right now? Hmm. We have a lot of young defensemen too. Okay, who is currently scratched? Because I'm actually going to send the scratch players down so that they at least get some playing time. Okay, this video is already starting to get kind of long. I wanted to keep these short and sweet, but we will simulate one month. I'm going to go ahead and make these moves. I've showed you guys all I need to show you. So, hey, yeah, okay. These two are going down. So, let's go to roster moves and send those two guys down so they can at least play in the AHL. If you guys want to trade one of our defensemen or maybe pair them for a potential player or a pick, let me know. And then I could do some scouting before the next video. But, hey... Waiver eligible players must clear, uh, he says he's on a two-way, but it also says waivers, so no waivers for Yoki Haru, okay. So, yeah, Yoki Haru can go. Uh, what about Bouchard? You're required to fix your lines, but he can go down. Okay, you know what, I'm going to send Bouchard down then, and Hag can stay for now. Um, I just want everyone to play, so let's edit the lines again. And do best lines, which I don't think is going to change the offense because it was like that already. Defense. Oh, yeah. It didn't change a thing, really. It's basically the exact same. So, cool. And see if we can just match. Mm -hmm. No, Klingberg's got to be on the first pair. Yeah, that's not going to work. I don't want to do that. We'll keep that. And then in net. Boom. Yeah. So, we shouldn't have anyone scratched anymore. No, we do not. Lovely. Lovely, dovely. Okay. So, at this point... I think we can simulate a month, but I am going to take a quick water break. All right, I have returned from the quenching of my thirst. Let's edit the lines here. I forgot we did send two players down, so preferred lines. And we are going to get some new players soon. Bouchard and Yoki Haru are there. Our AHL team is going to do hopefully quite well this year. Um, but let's go back to the NHL for now. Let's just keep advancing a day, actually. All right, so we got him... Looks like a bunch of the players are actually going to sign. And got them. Um, and we win against the Ducks. That's huge. 2-0 start to the year. The Blues, who are 1-0. We got Bork. And I think that's probably the rest of them. And we lose to the Blues. Brutal. Oh, we got Klingberg back as well. Great. Okay. And also, if there's any other contracts you would like me to try extending or re-signing now, let me know that as well. Ekholm's a legend. I almost want to promote him up. But he seems to be doing just fine on that third pairing. Okay. So now... We can edit the lines. Let me make sure that none of them are up here. They are not. So AHL and best lines. Aha. There we go. Now we're talking. And is uh, there's boss. Okay. Can I get him on the first line? Try to get him as much exposure as possible. Um, zero chemistry is... Oh my goodness. He has X factors. Look at this guy. Elliot boss. Like a boss. Ryan Reeves. Yeah. I mean, third line AHL is not going to kill you, I guess. Um, I can try to... Nah, let's see how it was. Give that plus two there. McLeod moving up won't help. Trent Frederick, he's a medium top nine. Yeah, okay. And we'll just leave this lad here. He can <laughs> fit in on this team somehow, hopefully. He's a good locker room guy. Let's actually move Bork up just to get that chemistry boost. And I don't want to mess up too much here. It's kind of sad we can't get Boss some good chemistry on that first line. I feel like that would be very ideal. But if we can't do it, we can't do it. So I'm going to leave it at that. Leave it at zero for now. Defense. Yeah, but should we make, should, Would he be better on the second line? Are we going to get him too much exposure on the first line? He has a power forward. Nah, he'll be fine. If it's not working out, we'll, we'll move him after. Here's our defense. We're all good there. Cam Deneen. Is that one of the guys we drafted? I think it actually was. Medium top six, 72. And I kind of want to get... Well, yeah, Dachin should not be there. Oh, my word. What is this chemistry? Wow. 
all right, is there anyone I can just, like, I don't care, yeah. Give me some bad overall players. It doesn't help. Well, then. All right, Deneen can go back in, change in current line. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm just going to do best lines again. Let's let's restart all of that. So, Yoki Haru, that is also ugly. That's ugly no matter what. You know what? Let's just leave it like that. Screw it. And then I'm going to move Boss up to the first line. And that's that. So, he's going to be playing with Frederick, who is also a power forward, and Hegel, who is a playmaker. What kind of stats do we have here? Two-star puck skills, good stuff. Oh, he's already got three-and-a-half-star shooting, though. So he is kind of a sniper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fits in on that line. Let's go, boss. Cool. Elliot Moose is on the loose. And defense and goalies. All right. Time to sim. You guys have seen all that you need to see by now, I believe. And we'll do a quick analysis after this simulation to see how we're doing. So I'll go to here for now. And we'll see how the squad is holding up at that point. All right, 5-0 win over the Carolina Hurricanes. That's huge. We are 4-3-0. Um, do I expect to make the playoffs in year one? No, not necessarily. I think we could do it, but... Oh, I see how it is. We absolutely destroy you. Now you want to make trades? No, get out of here. Carolina, that's another shutout victory against Carolina. Big win against the Rangers. Love that. Come on, let's keep it going here. Oh my word, let's go! Houston, we don't have a problem. Winnipeg, uh, we beat them in the home opener, but they got the revenge. We beat the Kraken, the other brand new expansion team. And we are slowly crashing back down. That's a big win. Overtime loss, I'll take those. Tampa Bay, yeah, I don't think we stood much of it. We really have Carolina's number right now. Holy crap. Well, let's sim up to this date and see what's working and what's not. And then that can also weigh into some trades. So the HL team is 17-7-2. They're doing well. Hagel is at 20 points. Love that. And Palmieri is leading the Hammerheads with 19. So that's an interesting turn of events. Let's have a look at the team standings right now. Houston Hammerheads. We are currently third in the Pacific. That's not bad. I'll take that. And Palmieri. I don't even know what the lines are right now. I'm trying to remember, and I can't. But either way, he's got 19 Dubois has 17 is a dash one. Rust is a dash two. So that first line doesn't really seem to be working that well. Uh, what about the goalies? How are the goalies doing? Oh my word. Vladar. I didn't know. What a legend. 950, 133. And then Mrazek as well. 921, 248. Yeah, yeah. These goalies are doing good. All right. So we don't have any issues there. Goalies are fine. But we aren't really producing a whole lot of offense. I guess... That's not crazy surprising, considering we don't really have offensive studs, per se. But, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me let me know in the comments. I'll try to include as many comments as I can. And on top of that, I think it's a pretty good start. I think we're off to a pretty good start here, guys. So, 15-10-1. HL team is 17-7-2. Elliot Moose is on the loose. Let's just have a look to see how many points he has. Hopefully, he is doing well on that line. And he has 11 points in 25 games and is a plus 6. He's already up to 73 overall. I am very happy with that progress. Ryan Reeves up there with 16 points, 79 overall, even though he's on the third line AHL. Delightful. Nice. All right. Um, okay, he is on at least one power play unit, it looks like. Or he just got out there. Maybe we should double check that. But that's another thing. Trent Frederick only has 9 points. What are you, what are you doing, Trent? Okay, guys. Let me know what should we do. How is this video this long again? I guess it just happens. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you soon.